If you want to add multiple decals to your models without using a shrink wrap modifier, then use this node setup. First, add a new material to your model. Then add an image texture with the image that you want to use as a decal. Then you add a color wrap node to get your base color. Then add a mix color node which will mix the data from both the image texture and the color wrap node. What you can do now is plug the color from the image texture to color B and color ramp to A and then the alpha to the factor. Then now you can plug everything to the base color of the node and that will give you your decal. To solve this problem, we will need to go to UV editing and you can see that the UV is a mess. You select the mesh, press U to unwrap it and then project from view. All we have to do now is scale the UV to fit the proportions that we want. To solve this repetitive issue that's happening, we will go back to where we have our node set up. And on the image texture node, you will have to change the pitch to clip to solve that. And go into your UV to adjust where you want the decals to be at. To add another decal, all you have to do is duplicate everything except the output node, change the image on the image texture node to a new decal, and add a mix shader node and connect them together. You'll notice that the mix shader is taking half of both sets of nodes and mixing them together. To solve this, you have to create another set of UV map for the new decal. You'll go to your Object Data Properties panel, then click on UV Maps, click on the plus icon to create a new one and rename them accordingly, and then select the one you want to be active. Here it would be the Kirby UV Map. Now head to the Shader panel and add a UV Map node and select the right UV map for the image texture and connect them to the vector of the image texture. Now that we have the Kirby UV active, we can scale it and place it where we want. To solve the low visibility on both decals that we can see, take the alpha from the first image texture and plug that into the factor of the mix shader and that should solve the problem. You can give thickness to your decals by adding a bump node and connecting the color to the height and the normal to the normal of the principal BSDF. Then lastly, if you want to add a third decal to it, you follow the same process as before by duplicating the entire node, creating a new UV map and plugging that to the vector of the image texture, adding another mix shader and connecting the alpha from the last image texture to the factor of the second mix shader node. And this is the node setup for adding decals to your models. And that is for this video. If you like this video, you will like this one where I shared how to get out of Blender's tutorial here.